uh, Bant Eldrazi now. So this deck uh, was popular, what, two years ago? year and a half ago? Like two years ago, I think, now. Um, where it's it's playing the Eldrazi lands, it's got the caverns, and then a bunch of uh, Bant-colored lands. And it's trying to make sure it can power out the Eldrazi um, while because it's tapping into the temples as well as tapping into the Noble Hierarchs. It has a lot of uh, great dig spells with the Ancient Stirrings, of course, but then we also have the removal with Path. It's got some absurd interactions between Displacer and then Spawning or Thought Knot and Drowner. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, pr pretty mid rangey deck with a lot of uh, end game capability. Uh, this, we just took this list from uh, Jeff Hoagland. So appreciate that, Jeff. Uh, our friend Gorb picked it up. I played this deck. This was actually the first deck that I played when I came back to um, oh, when I came back to Modern. My, uh, this was the deck that my friend had available for me, so um, it's pretty funny going back to it now. Um, the sideboard seems pretty solid. It's got Stubborn Denials, Path, two Rest in Peace, two Stonies, the Deputy, two Knights, a Graph Diggers. I like that it's running Teferis. That's pretty sweet. So without much further ado, let's jump into a... Uh, Let's jump into a league. insane hand. We're not powering anything out with um, with a temple or with a noble here, but I think this is a pretty reasonable hand, so we're going to go ahead and keep it. We got turn one path, and or we can go get um, something for I mean turn one Pancient Stirrings here, which I think is going to be pretty solid. Let's snag that temple. And pass it back to our opponent. If I can build Eldrazi, Bant Eldrazi, uh, there's a good chance I can put this deck together. I think we're just going to play the windswept and pass here. I want to fetch up a, a hollowed fountain um, in case we need to, and we can always play the uh, the temple next turn. Yeah, they got a thing in the ice. Let's shock ourselves here with the hollow fountain and path their thing in the ice. Actually, do we even care? We can just bounce it over and over with the Displacer. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Do we want to just go for the Displacer? No, we can Thought Knot next turn. Yeah. Actually, let's not shock ourselves. And we're just going to run out um, a Thought Knot here. Uh, gut Shot. Not that important. But, let's see. They can... What can they do to flip their thing in the eyes? They can go chart the course. They'd have to hit another spell. If they go gut shot. Spell snare doesn't hit anything in our hand. 
So let's just take chart the course from them. And let's press it back. I I would say that I don't have the um, I don't have the spot uh, sky spawners and I don't have the um, the six drop, but I think those are pretty cheap. Or the, the drowner and hope. So those are pretty cheap to get our hands on. Though. swing here. And then let's play Caverns, Eldrazi, let's get ourselves a white, and let's drop a Displacer into play. We can hold up Path, and if it comes back to our turn with uh, the ability to drop out uh, multiple triggers on that Displacer, that would be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the deck's not that expensive. It's all the land stuff. Um, we'd have to snag the caverns for someone. I think I have two that I'm borrowing from Reese, but people have caverns, so it's not really an issue. But, I mean, man, if we 5-0 with this deck, I'm probably just going to play with them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, gut shot. So we are going to path here. So I like the idea of Stubborn Denial in this matchup quite a bit, and deputies aren't terrible either. Because they're just trying to play a lot of efficient spells and we can, I think we can get them off guard pretty well by playing. So I want to keep the Thalias because they interact with them really well too. So I'm going to cut the spawners, bring in that. Um, Engineer also seems pretty solid. Their threats are just two drops here, so we can just get rid of it with the EE. Um, they don't seem to be on the Phoenix plan, so I don't think Draft Digger is necessary. Or Rest in Peace. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. I don't think Rip's that relevant. Like It looks like it was just Snapcaster. This seems solid. Terramander. Okay, maybe a little bit more relevant. We'll grab that temple and pass it. There's a the thing in the ice. going to power out this displacer. A Tempest Gin. Okay. I don't know, like, I, I wouldn't want to 
bring in a card just on a hunch if like cause i haven't played against a mono blue variant of this deck before and i would hate to be stuck in a situation where we brought it in because we thought they would have it and they just didn't and it's just a waste of a card at that point these gins are going to do work against us though i tell you what Okay, so we're going to play out this island. Don't want to race them, I don't think. They got an island in hand, and they can hit us for nine in the air next turn if we don't hold up Displacer. I think they'll give up their uh, Tempest Shin. And if they do, we're okay with it. So we'll do that, and then we'll pass it over to them. And we'll just plan on blinking a Tempest Shin. And then from next turn onwards, we can um, just blink the Tempest Shin to keep them out of combat. Was the wrong land. That's unfortunate for us. Uh, so I misclick, and I think it's going to cost us. So we should be at five here, not at three. But I clicked the wrong land, so now if their Delver flips, we're dead. Okay, Delver didn't flip. Good enough. Drowner can tap down both of their Tempests. So we still need them not to flip anything. And if they do, we can get there. Let's tap properly. Hmm. 
Okay. We can... Play Smasher, swing with the team. Then we'd have to blink our Drowner just once. Um, they could just they can easily block everything to stay alive. Alternatively, we can blink our own Drowner. Oh, seven. Eight. So one short of blinking it two more times. We swing with too many creatures, they're going to be able to just block with the um, two creatures and just uh, kill us. Hmm. Are we back to the situation where we have to? Hmm. Okay. If we swing with Thought Knot, they can block. And then they can still swing in for Lethal. Or no, not Lethal. They'd, they'd have to block with a single creature. They could block with Thing in the Ice, actually. And then they'd have three in the ground. Um, so I think we can't swing. We'd have to blink our Drowner twice, though. And if we blink our drowner twice, it's going to be tapped. So I don't think we can swing. And I think we. Uh, I don't think we can play Smasher either. I think we just have to pass and cross our fingers. Still no flip, so that's good for us. Oh, crap. I just clicked past it. <laughs> I hate my life. Oh, my gosh. I am I clicked past it too fast. So not only did that shock earlier cost us the game, because we can... We can blink our two things, but then this one gets us because I shocked ourselves accidentally earlier, and I can't. I we we should be alive because I should have been able to blink the drowner twice, but I clicked past it on accident. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really mad at myself. I don't think these ones fly. The um, the sky spawner, no, the sky spawner ones. Yeah, the scions don't fly. That's that's really annoying. I I I uh, I punted past this, so we should have won this game. Because we'd be able to tap down their creatures and then tap down an extra one and then get them. But because I accidentally clicked past it, it's not enough. That's, that's pretty annoying. All right, let's go to game three. I am liking the idea more of the deputy of detention and the path. And I'm gonna trim the folly because they don't seem, that was a really a creature intense game. So I'm gonna go with that plan. This is a slow hand path. I think this is fine though. This is a very slow hand though.
You like bringing them back in just for the blockers for the creatures in the sky. I think we're okay with letting this hit here. They're not really loading up a lot of spells for the Terramander. Okay, I can definitely see that logic. And I definitely play the wrong land here. This, I'm just playing miserably here. Oh my gosh. I played the wrong land, so it's sequencing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, our, our spells should just be uncounterable, you know? But because I played it in the wrong order, uh, man. Wow, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, uh, we can't race them anymore with the Smasher because we don't have the Thought Knot in play. Um, so I'm just going to pass it here. And we're just going to be planning on uh, pathing their creatures at this point. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, they're going to click. So <sighs> in response to the click here, I'm going to path their... Mendelian click, and I'm going to path their um, aberration. We are going to run out the Drowner here. So that way we can hold off the Tempest. Ten. We're gonna to want to tap down that tempest unit again. Now they're gonna snag it. Um, you can either go for the stubborn denial here on their spell, or go for the just the path on their gen. I think their gen seems fine. Let's see if it resolves. They're gonna counter it. Deprived. Okay. And then. Oh, we should have won this match.
Very unfortunate. I misclicked that game away. Twice. Man. No oh, good. No good. All right. Moving on with our lives. So, so far, I like the deck. Other than when I punt. <laughs> Oh, and I can check uh, Blake. Um, I think I think Jay just has this entire deck built. I don't remember if he traded this away or not, but I think he has the whole deck. Seems really solid. We can power out. We got Thalia Path and Sky Spawner. I'm gonna lead things off with a with a uh, a brush land here and just pass back to our opponent. Hold a path if we need it. I'm gonna run out the Thali. It looks like they're on a Junish deck. A whole lot of nothing from them. Okay. Well, let's swing. Caverns. Let's drop a bot knot and see what they're working with. Two color guns, a blood braid, and a pulse. Let's take the pulse and pass it back to them. Yeah, I, I mean, this looks this list looks pretty close to where it was already at. I think the only really new additions that, that it went with was uh, the the Teferis and the Deputy of Detention. Okay, we can run out. No, we're just going to swing here. They're, they're probably going to send the Colgan's command towards the Thalia. Let's discard a card. Let's discard the Noble, because it's another thing that's just going to get shot by the Colgan's Command if it sticks out, we, and we still have enough lands here to play out the Drowner. And we can play out the Spawner this turn. Inquisition us. Do we want to path our own scion? No, I don't think so. We'll just let them take that. We convert it here into a blood braid. Into a glyph. Trade with the blood braid with where they're at. We're at three. I don't think we do. Because we're going to take it here, go to 16. And then we're just going to play out the drowner.
And we can tap down there, Goyf, and swing in with the team. Gorb, do you like the uh, list that Hooglin has, or would you make any changes to it? You're gonna fail push it? Okay, you just tap down your life in response line. So rest in peace seems solid here. Make their goyfs just nothing. You bring path for another quality piece of removal. I don't think the Knight of Autumn, the Graph Diggers, the Deputy, or the Tefri are that great. Stubborn might be worthwhile for all the stuff they're hitting, but they're really just gonna be um the plan to drop their threats out and rip our cards apart. We don't really want to counter any other hand hate. Maybe the planeswalkers, but I think I'm good with just cutting the Thalias here. And bringing in the rest in peace and paths. Yeah. I know Thalia is somewhat reasonable because it's it's gonna slow down their blood braids and slows their clock uh, their It'll make them stumble a bit, but we're bringing in Rest in Peace and Path, which are also going to be impacted by it. So, let's try that game plan. Okay. So this hand's interesting. We have... An EE that we can't put anything on. We've got Displacer that we can get out turn two, and then we can start blinking things, but we really have nothing to blink. Drowner is a good bit away before we can do anything with that. Um, but I'm tempted to keep this hand just because it has Temple and uh, a Caverns here, and then we can pretty much drop any Eldrazi we drop from here, this point on. So let's try it. Yeah, taking off that, uh, getting a third rep in there was the first thing I was just thinking of as well. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about is possibly some life gain. Like, blinking a Thrag Toss could be nuts. They're going to bolt our Displacer. Another temple here. Nope, nothing. All right, temple or any land would be great now. We can start smashing them. All right, sky spawner. Also, just use some lands for this EE. That'd be great too. But the EE is gone. Fulminator. That's gonna make life difficult.
Yeah, that's not unreasonable. I think I might be doing the same thing if we try to test this deck out again. All right, this hand's much slower. Our paths aren't castable, which is awkward. Um, oh, our it's not castable, and we're gonna be waiting a little bit to get into these smashers. But turn one ancient stories could definitely sculpt this hand to where we need for it to be. Ugh. I'm gonna keep it and test it out with the smash uh, with the stirrings here. Alright, we got brush land, so we can start casting the um, the paths or just grabbing the windswept. Um, I think I'm fine to hold off on the EE. I'd rather hit the third land source. Uh, I'm gonna go with the brush here. Well, so if we, if we got, they should have a. Uh, I'm gonna grab the one swap. I was thinking about holding off and adding any lands to the graveyard for their goif, but they're gonna have fetches too, so that's gonna mean it's irrelevant. Try stirrings again. Alrighty, no temple, unfortunately. Let's grab this caverns. And we'll play out the wind swept so we can hold up a path. And grab a hollowed fountain here. Temple. Dope. Play out the temple and we'll pass it over. Oh no. So, I think we're going to discard the caverns here. If we could rip a temple off the top, that'd be amazing. Okay. I think we're going to go land. Let's drop the rest in peace into play. Discard the Smasher. And we really need to hit a land here. Alright, so I'm going to path the Blood Braid here, because if we get a land, I want to be able to smash into that Liliana down to um, one. Oof, Sky Spawner, okay.
We would have really liked to land there. You like the idea of bringing in Teferi in this matchup? What would you have cut? Hmm. So I think we're just going to get rid of the caverns and the Yavimaya, unfortunately. Um, and because we want to keep that goif small. Temple's definitely a good way to start this back up. Teasing us again. We really need a displacer that turn. Displacer could have got us back in the game because we could have bleed. Blinking the ravine. It's interesting that they, they, they all the pulsing. Okay. Okay, well, we've got a smasher. We're gonna have a 6 6 ravine. And we have to block it? Because otherwise we die. But I don't know how we live here either. And that's not it. Oh, well. You have a riddle for me. Let's hear the riddle. Who makes up 13% of the population but commits 50% of the crime? Uh, criminals. Uh, that's that's absolutely not okay, man. Like. Uh... Yeah, that's that's not okay. I'm gonna I'm not, I'm not a fan of having that kind of content in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and ban you. Yeah, I'm I'm not okay with having any kind of uh, racism in this in this chat. Okay. I'm not sure where you guys are coming from on this, but yeah, not not okay. Absolutely not okay. All right, 
so this hand's uh, this hand's not bad. Um, we get stirrings here. Um, we got a Thalia in turn two. We'll definitely try to hit a turn, th hit a third land here. Um, if we can hit a temple, that'd be even better. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Yeah, I I don't care. I I'm absolutely any, against any kind of racism. So if that's what people are on right now, that I'll just ban it outright from this chat. I'm not okay with that in any sense of the manner. All right, let's go windswept here, and let's go get ourselves a green white source. Then that way we'll ancient starings. All right, so no, um, no temple, but an engineered here is actually pretty good. So let's snag that for the human stack. All right, so they didn't have another land. So I kind of want to just run out the EE on one here and try to blow up their Aether Vial. And we'll just put a breeding pool into play tapped and pass it over. Go ahead and pop it. You know, I'm sure they are, but it doesn't matter to me. Um, if that's where they're at in life, they can do that. I'm. If they want to target me because I'm Asian, more power to them. It's. Uh, I don't know. They're just bad people. I, just, I, 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 like in today's day and age, the fact that racism um, exists blows blows me away, and it, it absolutely does still exist. And anything that we can do to help get rid of it's gonna be just huge. So, all right. So they're getting rid of that. We're just gonna play a brush land and pass over. And no, I, I said that wrong because I'm I'm just kind of. Um, I'm just kind of messed up right now because uh, I don't know. I, I I didn't think I'd be attracting that kind of thing. That's that's so crazy to me. All right, let's drop a thought knot here. Reflector is going to be pretty annoying for us, but image isn't going to be much better because they can copy our thought not. That's going to be pretty strong. Their lieutenant's going to power up their board a good bit, but we can displace that kind of stuff. So let's just get rid of the image. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, those are the first bans I've ever done. I've never banned anyone for, like, I don't know. I've just never banned anyone from the chat. It's just not a thing I've had to worry about. <laughs> So I think we're just going to play the Displacer and play the Thalia. Because then they'll get bounced and then next turn we can play Drowner and try to stabilize from there. Here. 
but maybe they want a reflector. Looks like they're going to go for the reflector again. And we much prefer this because then we can take the lieutenant out of their hand. I think our best option here is to get out this, uh, this thought knot. We can take the uh, lieutenant from their hand, and then that way we can still block down some of their spell, like their creatures. They got a Tajik. 3-2 uh, Mentor can give a first strike and prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures. Okay. Uh, we still want to just take the, the lieutenant here. And we'll pass it over. Mage is on EE. They cast it and that was the only spell they saw at that time. So. Alright, they got another meddling mage. See if they want to try to hit Displacer here, or are they just going to call us, because um, they know about that? Okay, they definitely go for Displacer. Temple is solid. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Um... I think we just want to run out the Drowner and the Sky Spawner and to clog up the board as much as possible. Oh no, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Yeah, oh no. Uh, we want to just run out the Drowner. Yeah. That's all we um, we need nine mana to do that. So and then this way we get a really big creature and we can block down or I mean t uh, tap down anything else that we would need to. I'm not too comfortable swinging with a thought not here. They can just double block with the reflector. And then we can only kill one, and then they get to draw extra cards. Let's just pass. Right, they got another reflector mage. Bounce thought not. They get to draw a card. We're fine with not tapping anything down here because we'll just eat away some of them if necessary. So. Alrighty. Let's run out a Smasher and a Sky Spawner.
And I'm fine with swinging with the, uh, with the smasher here. If they want to triple block it, and we can take on two other creatures, that's fine. Oh. this to juke. And then they can start mentoring them. Let's we'll see if they want to swing. If they want to swing, we can start eating away some of their creatures. Okay, they're still going to pass on that. We're going to run out of thought line just because we need another creature on board. And then we're going to play a sky spawner as well. a couple more creatures on board, we can get to the point where we can just do an alpha swing. Okay, the path's good here. We can path away Meddling Mage, the one that's on Displacer, drop our Displacer, and I think we're just going to be able to take over the game from there. twice at the end of turn. We're most likely just going to focus on doing a bunch of drowners. And that way we can tap down their whole team when we finally are able to and just do an alpha swing there. <laughs> yeah, good call on the path. Yeah, no, it's fine. They're gonna swing with just that. We can just blink it. Alright, so this turn. I think we're just going to swing in the air for two, I mean for four, and then we'll plan on just tapping everything of theirs down and then the following turn win. They swing, and I think they have to swing. We can create enough Eldrazi spawns. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can do it three times. So we can block all their things down, tap down the rest. And then that should be lethal. So yeah, let's see if they want to swing. Alright, if they want to do just him, we can just blink. Cancel that. We're going to just block with a Scion and then just have something else down. Alright. 
Start blanking our drowner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. So here I don't think we want the Thalios. Not really that good. I like the Deputy of Detention quite a bit. I like the Path. I could bring in Knights of Autumns just to uh, blow up an artifact or enchantment or gain, keep gaining for life. So let's, I'm thinking we do that. Do we want another one? Or do we think one is just fine? Okay, I don't really. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good with just the one. I think we'll run it like this. Thanks, man. It was a good recovery from the the fact that we punted away our first match. <laughs> uh, so yeah, with where the time's at right now, we'll probably just finish up this league, and I'll probably have to call it a night. Um, but you know, I can't, uh, like I said, I can't uh, run a league on Wednesday because I'll be um, out of the city on the training. But then I should be back on Monday. I mean, on Sunday. Let's run out this noble and pass it over. run out our what do we need okay we'll play the brush land and we're just gonna run out our displacer here let's take three again Displacer is much higher value than just giving it up for that. Um, let's see. Let's play. We play the caverns, Naval Drowsy. Let's run out a noble. And then we can smash with our displacer for five. And then we can blink whatever threat they come up with. It's a little odd for us because we uh, we will be pumping up the other one when we do this. So I don't want to take the hit because I want to be able to 
I think we're gonna run up the smasher. No, we're gonna hold back the smasher. We can run up the drowner, and then that should be the ability to take just take over the game. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this place here is nuts. We're gonna go for the five again. Alright, so I think we're in a pretty good spot here because if they swing, they have to make sure it's big enough for the drowner to just not kill it. Um, and if they only swing with one creature, we have the option of just blocking with Scion and tapping down their other creatures. Meddling Mage is just fine. So if they want to swing, they'd have to give up their biggest creature. Okay, they don't want to. And that's that's good for us. Run out Smasher here. Let's see, we could tap down two of their big creatures. And if we tap two of them down, they only have two left to block. They'd have to block Drowner and Displace here so then they don't die. So let's just swing with the Smasher. Turning off their canopy. We've got a bunch of blockers. Yeah. Good times. Oh yeah, that is nice. We will be able to generate an additional tap. That is a good call there, Gorby. opponent's got for us. Thinking. So this is funny. I keep accidentally calling someone. Uh, so this hand's like really powerful because um, it's got the double temples. Um, I'm gonna keep it because just because like it, it can go really crazy. Temple and pass it over. All right, not sure what our opponent's on yet. Let's run out a Thalia and see what they got going for them. Nothing yet. Well, we'll 
let's run out this displacer after we swing. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm liking this deck so far. We haven't played against some of the normal format things, though, so I want to see what it's going to do against those decks. Have to get more games in. Alright, looks though well, we're going against Grishobran. Um, they should have a pretty hard time with Displacer and Thalia, so that's pretty awesome for us already. run out of sky spawner to put a faster clock on them and we can hold up a displacer bounce still I actually think we're fine here Garb let's swing with the team Clutch of them. Okay. Oh my god, because we blinked it, they get to stick around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, I did not realize that. The wording on Goriel's Vengeance does not exile it um, when it leaves play. It just uh, exiles at the beginning of the next end step. And uh, because we blinked it, uh, they have a Gristle Brand now. <laughs> was our last draw and they're not going to be able to swing with Gristlebrand unfortunately. Or Thalia. Okay, I think we have to let that go. Do they have enough lands in their hand just to kill us right now?
So we could have tried to save the Thalia by uh, sacking our Scion and uh, going for the Temple. Um, I was thinking that they would um, try to go for like another uh, Gorios or something like that, and I thought that at that point it would be better to... Are they hitting us? Yeah, they're hitting us. Um, it would be better to just take it because then we would be able to prevent whatever inner shenanigans they have going on. Obviously, in hindsight, that was the incorrect call because we could have just uh, saved Thalia and then they wouldn't have been able to cast any of their other spells. But I'm curious what they're waiting on here because if they have enough lands, why aren't they just killing us? We are just waiting for our opponent to figure out what they want to do. Just waiting. Maybe they realize they don't have enough to kill us, and now they're trying to decide if they want to just keep shooting us or shoot the creatures. I have no idea. You are right though, this person does not want to die. Not that I see, um, at least we're not prompted that they disconnected. It would make sense that they disconnected, 
um, with how long they're taking. I do want to start trying to practice Amulet. But I, uh, the thing is, I don't think I can get enough practice in with Amulet before Regionals. So with, with that time constraint that I have, I think my time is best put on playing a deck that I'm already um, familiar with and then just brushing up on it and then formulating a cyborg plan um, rather than trying to learn a brand new deck because I've only played Amulet uh, for one league, I think. It is two weeks, but I can't play Magic Straight for two weeks, like... Um, between this week and next week there's going to be so tomorrow I can't play magic because after after work I have to get basically uh, spend the rest of the day to get ready for the next day and then Tuesday and Wednesday I'm not going to be able to play any magic uh, because of traveling for work and then the training um, Thursday I can play some magic but I'm probably going to try to go play paper magic and then uh, I think Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I have plans, so I could play it at night, depending on how things go, but it wouldn't feel right if I wasn't playing at least one Eldrazi in my deck. That's not an excuse, that's being realistic with the time I have available, I feel like. Because you're talking about trying to get familiar with the most difficult deck. Okay, the opponent definitely disconnected. We just get the prompt for it. Um, you're talking about trying to master the most difficult deck in Modern, right? Like, it is considered the hardest deck in Modern, bar none. The only deck that competed with it was KCI, and KCI is gone now. So, I mean, it, when it's the deck that judges love to play because of how intricate it is, I think it's a good call on being that 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 i can't just master this in like maybe right now what a week worth of play time Okay, they're back to killing us. Okay, so we want to bring in the rest in peace, the stubborn denials. In the graph digger cage and possibly the other path here ees are pretty dead and i don't think we need them i i don't think we need to be on the spawners either and i feel the last card i'd want to take out here is just trimming a smasher um oh we want the other rest in peace uh, trimming two smashers. Because Drowners can tap down their Gristlebrand or their Through the Reach plan from happening. Um, Thought Knots can rip stuff out of their hand. Displacers can blink their stuff. Um, Thalias can slow them down. So I think this is the route that I want to go with it. Double Thalia and Double Path. I think we're good with this. And we have the ability to actually cast them.
I'm kind of shocked because of the outside chance that they have a double Simeon Spirit, uh, Faithless uh, Goriel's Hand. We can run out Thalia here because they're already behind a turn. It's risky passing up on without keeping path up, but okay, this was to be expected. really enjoy getting a planes right now. Definitely going to breach us. Yeah, I don't think I'll need them, because... I'm not on that life right now. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. I've never actually built this deck, but I am pretty sure outside of the Sky Spawners and the Drowners, I own the deck. Alright, so we're in a comp league here. We're already at three losses in, so we can't get any prizes. Um, so we're going to play this last one, but I'm going to concede to my opponent. Um, just because we can get no value out of this.
uh, you don't always go against people that have the same record as you. Like, from my understanding, you can just go against anyone that has any kind of record. Double Ancient Star's Hand, we'll keep this. See what they want to take here. Okay, there goes our displacer. All right, let's grab this sky spawner. I have no idea what's happening over here. It's some kind of black white token stack. Uh, we can ancient stirrings here. See if we can set ourselves up for a solid next turn. EE e is pretty good, but so is Smasher. I think Smasher will give us the clock that we need. And then we plan on playing um, Sky Spawner this turn, unless we draw another temple, then we'll play a Smasher. You think it's the enchantment stack? No, I think this is tokens. It's gonna hit us for three here. They can either take a Thalia or a Sky Spawner. I think we're good with taking it, and we're just gonna swing on our turn with it. Drowner's pretty solid, but I think right now we just wanna run out the Smasher, hit them for six. And then next turn, Drowner and try to end it. Here. 
Ooh, they got a Gideon. Access to blue mana. Yeah, depending on how he plays this out, he should win this game. If he attacks incorrectly, though, then we can get there. Because we do have the ability to tap down three of their creatures, so... And then we're going to be eating away a couple on our turn too, so... Okay, so we will tap that down in response. So we just won. Got Gideon. They'll be forced to block. Okay, I'm gonna swing with Drowner and Thalia. At them this time, we'll hold up path.
Oh my gosh, you're right. You're absolutely right. We could have uh, tapped down both of them and path the other one and won the game right there. Um, so we'll have to do it on this uh, uh, following turn. So we have to tap down two of them. They swing with the other one. Oh, uh, that's awkward. Yeah, we... Good call, dogs. We definitely had that um, pre-combat. All right, so we have to tap down. We're going to tap down just one because we can path the other one if they choose to swing with just uh, four creatures. And if they just want to swing with just three, then we're okay with that. No, no, wait, what? Sack creature. Uh, we're gonna have to sack the noble. Sack the noble, path one, tap the other, swing with the team. Just in case we draw a a drowner, no, I don't want to. I think no drowner. We would still be able to, but I think we're pathing here no matter what because we got to go for the win here. Feels like stubborn denials are great here. Same with deputies. And knights do not seem bad at all. Yeah, definitely dodgeable. We should have uh, won with your uh, line that you talked about. So, Drowners, Smashers, EE seem great, Thought Not are always awesome, Paths seem kind of weak because of all their tokens. Sky Spawner seems relevant because it's going to be able to hold stuff off of the sky and whatnot for us, but um... That's the line I, I, I think we might go is cut the three paths and the four sky spawners bring in the four stubborns, the deputy, and the two knights.
This feels pretty good. Deputy and uh, and Displacer would do some crazy work. I'm excited to see that. Let's try this out. Okay, this place is pretty nuts against them. And we're gonna be getting it out on turn two, so I'm gonna keep this. All right, well, there goes this placer. Oh, they took Banshee Sarks. Must mean they have another uh, Inquisition or Potsies. Or they can just like bath or something. Okay, got a damping sphere for us. There's the Inquisition for the other displacer. What seems so wrong, Gorb? Ensnaring Bridge. Okay. Can't cast the Drowner, so we'll go Stirrings. Guess we'll grab the Smasher that we can't cast and can't attack with. Damping Sir? I mean, it stopped us from casting things a turn earlier so far, so it's not terrible. the drowner here because we would like to get the tokens to be able to swing at the last hope uh, one of them will die here to last hope so wow, it's, actually this is really awkward for us all together isn't it they kill one and then Liliana sack Oh, you should play this card, it's okay. Another ensnaring bridge. We have a heck of a sideboard plan.
All right, there goes half our prayer minutes. Let's see how they do this. We either get to keep our creatures in two lands, or we get to keep all of our lands, minus the hollow. I think we have to just keep the, uh, keep the smash of the Droner here. Because our best bet of coming back into this is just drawing a displacer and we can, uh, Get a, get rid of their tokens. We can only get rid of one a turn, and they're gonna be just gaining three plus a two plus a turn. On the plus side, their their planeswalkers are gone. Dealing with this slowly on alt though. I don't I don't know if we can keep up with that. Yeah. Hitting both of them though, like, so we'd have to get it this turn and then use the Scion to destroy one bridge and otherwise we'd have to go like land into both of them and they're not going to be attacking and we can't attack so they're going to go to six zombies and then 12 zombies and at that point we can't keep up. So I, I like, we'd have to then hit an EE. So we have to go like land. No, we we can just yeah. We'd have to go like land night night ee. -E. It, like if you're at um if you're at the gaming shop tomorrow if they have four sky spawners and four drowners if you want to pick those up i can at least try to put this deck together i think if there's an eldrazi deck that's being played it would be this one it's amongst someone in our team Unless they de seed or something, I don't know what they could be thinking about.
key. We're just we're just sitting around here waiting for our opponent to do things. Gooby Goo has died. This is exciting stuff, folks. Exciting stuff. I guess what, since we're just sitting around and we're waiting and it's going to be the end of the night here and I'm going to have to call it. Um, I like this deck a lot so far. Um, it seems really solid. We haven't got a chance to go play against a lot of the other decks um, in the format. That, so I want to keep jamming games with this to see if it's worthwhile. Um, not really happy with where Vanifar is. Um, just not in the right sh shell. Um... It just seems really punishing right now in the format they're in that and whether it's uh the hand disruption that you get from the uh, rock decks or i should start a youtube channel and post my videos on there i have a youtube channel and i post all my videos on there <laughs> i probably should just link them or something like that i don't know uh, but yeah you can check all my all my YouTube stuff. Um, I put. I, I try to upload all my videos. Actually, I actually don't think I uploaded the two videos from last week. But yeah, I um. Oh, oh it's back. Um, I I definitely have the YouTube up and running. I I just need to make sure they communicate. Yeah, yeah. If you just search up uh, Unstable Voodoo, you can see all of the, um, all of it on there. Imagine they're gonna feel the ruin us. Oh. Sure. I mean, you can see all. You should be able to see all the videos on this uh, on Twitch too. Well, there is EE, -E. and like, do we just put EE -E on zero and hold it? Because if we leave it in our hand, it's susceptible to get ripped out of our hand. So, I think that's what we're just doing here. And then we just gotta wait. My rug pile video. Uh, it should be on there. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, Tamir Moon's on there. Well, we have another 
PE. Still not doing much. And that's a displacer, but we have no white mana. Scheme. Uh, I still don't think there's anything we necessarily want here. Um, debatably, we should be bringing the Tefries here if they're going to be locking us down underneath their walkers. Um, so I might take out two Drowners and bring in the, the Tefries, or we can just take out two Thalias here. So this hand has a lot of what we're looking for, but it's only got the one lander. But I think we're gonna keep it. I'm keeping the EE right now because we may want to send it towards the tokens, but we may also want to send it towards um, the ensnaring bridges and whatnot. So we would really like to hit a third land. We got our third land, but our opponent fulminated us. Hmm. 
Mm. Alright, well, we got two EVs. I'm gonna run out one. I'm gonna pass it over. Ditch the night of autumn. Still can't hit a land. Nah, nah. Like I said, I'm I'm planning on conceding no matter what because we can't prize. Why are we so good at drawing lands with Tron, but we're so bad at drawing lands with every other deck? I guess I'll choose this pile of sacrifice and keep my... Oh, I keep my caverns. I have to hit land, land right now. Come on, give it to me. All right, it's not a land, and we can't cast it out. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad with life right now. for the night. <laughs> oh. I'm just not a lot of play cards. <laughs> I'm just not a lot of play right now. They just don't want me to play any cards, okay? That's that's how it works. Oh. All right, guys, we are done for the night. Um, so like I said, I'm going to finish up.